This is a breaking news alert. Got some breaking news now on Susan Rice. She is guilty. She just admitted to unmasking Trump team members in spy reports. We'll show you the video from MSNBC, but there is a twist. First, let's go to Christian Detock at The Daily Caller, who reports that during her Tuesday interview with MSNBC's Andrea Mitchell, former National Security Advisor Susan Rice, for the very first time admitted to unmasking what she referred to as, quote, U.S. persons included in those intelligence reports, those spy reports. They state here that the intelligence community sometimes incidentally collects the communications of U.S. citizens in its surveillance of foreigners, but those names are redacted when they are reported to White House officials. Rice told Mitchell that at the time it was, quote, necessary for her to ask for the intelligence agencies for those names of those U.S. citizens to determine the, quote, potential threat to national security. Take a look. I don't know who uh, they think was collected upon. The allegation is that in one case they are alleging in the Daily Caller that there was a spreadsheet that you put out of all of these names. Absolutely false. And circulated. No spreadsheet, nothing of the sort. And let me also elaborate and say that when uh, the intelligence community would respond to a request from a senior national security official for the identity of an American. That would come back only to the person who requested it. Uh, and it would be brought back to them directly. To you um, directly. To me or to it. whoever might have requested it uh, on occasion. And, and this is, you know, important. It was not then typically broadly disseminated throughout the national security community or the government. So the notion that, which some people are trying to suggest, that by asking for the identity of an American person, uh, that is the same as leaking it, is completely false. There's no equivalence between so-called unmasking and leaking. The, the effort to ask for the identity of American citizen is necessary to understand the importance of an intelligence report in some instances. Now, the House Chairman, Devin Nunes, said that the incidental collection of these names that he was briefed when he came to the White House in the complex of offices with, that you used to lead at the National Security Council, he said that it had nothing to do with the Russia investigation. Yet now the allegation is that you were responsible for leaking the fact that Mike Flynn had talked to Ambassador Kislyak and perhaps to others. I'm Is not, there any truth to that? I can't get into any specific reports. I don't know what uh, uh, Devin Nunes reviewed at the White House. What I can say is that there is an established process for uh, senior national security officials to ask for the identity of U.S. persons in these reports. Did, to that, get beyond that, Andrea, is to disclose classified information. So there you have it. She's admitting it right there. But what is she? She's she's trying to to, say, to to qualify it to say, yeah, it was okay. It was necessary. I was following the law. No, no, no. You were acting as a political operative for the Democrat Party, Mrs. Rice. That is what you were doing. All right. So you can couch it in all the words and all the phrases and all the legal jargon you want, but we know the truth. Okay, the American people know the truth, and we want to. We want to. We do want to thank you for at least admitting the fact that you uh, did uh, unmask those names, that you are the party. Yeah, we're we're really happy there. But what really is going to make a difference is when you go in, in front of the uh, committee, and you go under oath, and you we find out who exactly, who exactly ordered it. Oh yes, that will be a glorious day. A very glorious day. You can tell by her, her her demeanor, her body language. I mean, even uh, just just she looks like she is like she, she was dragged out of bed for this one, folks. She is not getting any sleep. She knows she's on the hot seat. Now she's got to go in front of all these different television shows and and try to defend her position. Well, now we know that the position is guilt, 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 guilt. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Blast us on social media. It's your responsibility as American to show everybody you know on social media that this person is guilty of the crimes against the Trump administration and the American people for abusing the national security apparatus for political purposes. This is disgusting behavior. Criminal activity. I'll see you at the next report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please, 
share this report, and, to get more videos like this, become an X News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching, the next news network.